crank, crank, crank. Oh, Caleb's got a really big one. You crank too, though, Maggie. Lean your rod to the left so you can get him out. This video is some sheephead fishing from the Oregon Inlet Bridge in the Outer Banks. I don't understand how it's still so good. It gets fished all the time. It's not uncommon any day of the week, even when the weather's bad, to go see half a dozen boats all fish in the same pilings as what we go and fish when we do this. I thought that nowadays it was mostly smaller fish just because people fish it so hard. Typically when people sheephead fish in there, they're keeping sheephead, they're good to eat. And on this day we went out and we fished for a few hours. We caught a bunch of really nice ones, lost some big ones. So I guess there's still hope. I don't really know where these fish are coming from, but it must just be such a big funnel bringing fish through the sound out to the ocean or the other way. You get a lot of fish that end up in this place and it's pretty good fishing. There's a few little tricks that I feel like help me uh, catch more sheephead. One of them is obviously to use crabs. A lot of people like using sand fleas. I haven't used sand fleas in a really long time, so maybe they are pretty good, but I've always had much better results using fiddler crabs or the hermit crabs that we use. Uh, another thing, you'll see us fishing with jigs. Two main styles of sheephead jigs. You got the fixed hook and the swiveling hook. Maybe I'm wrong. I would say do not ever ever buy this one. My experience with these type jigs is you lose a ton of bait and when you hook a fish it comes off most of the time. The fixed jig is definitely the way you want to go for sheephead fishing. I think this one's an ounce. Um, I don't know what brand it is but the ones I'm actually using in the video I'm going to link those down below. The jig that I break in the video I think it's bowed up lures and it's not the only one I've broken from them so I don't know what's going on with that but I do know I haven't broken any of the bridge donkey hooks. The hook on that one it's not the best hook in the world, but it's kind of a softer hook, so it'll give a little bit, it'll bend, and that prevents it from snapping. The hooks that are too rigid are the ones that'll snap. The setup I'm using in this video, you've seen me catch tons of fish on this setup if you've watched my videos. Uh, it's a Carnage 3, seven foot heavy inshore spinning, and a Pen Slammer 4 DX. That's a 3,500 size, and I believe I'm fishing 20 pound braid on it. If I was, if it was my dedicated sheephead rod, I would probably fish 30. Video, I was fishing maybe 25 pound fluoro leader. I've found that I think 25 to 30 pound fluorocarbon is kind of that happy medium. You've still got a good bit of power. You got abrasion resistance, and it's also light enough that you will get more bites, um, especially in a pressured location such as the Oregon Inlet Bridge. They get fished for a lot there. If you get dirty water, you can bump it up 40, 50 pound leader. But even then, I still think you get less bites. Anyway, that's all I got, and I'm gonna get into the video. We catch a pile of them, and it was a really fun day. Didn't take us long to do it either. Net. I need the net. Nice. I think he's hooked pretty good. Yeah. All right. Thanks. That didn't take very long. He's been caught before. I had to come revisit my sheephead pals. Uh, maybe like. 12, 12 foot maybe. I don't know, I just kinda, I was just kinda slowly letting it down, then stop it, and then let it down a little further and stop it again. Net. A small one. He ain't that bad though. They're biting. You know what's funny is somebody's been fishing here today because there's a sand flea right there, but. Apparently they left a couple for us. Yeah. I got him. I think he's so good. Yeah. 
They're biting. Yep. It's a big one, or a nice one. Y'all should come fish over there. Thank you. Go fish over there. That's a nice fish right there. Yeah, it's a good one. We're keeping a lot of fish in this video. Basically what we do, we catch them, bonk them on the head, bleed them, leave them on the concrete for maybe 10, 15 minutes, and then we put them on ice in the boat. We don't leave them out here for very long. It's just not easy to bring a cooler up there with you. Oh, you got him. Real, 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 real. Yeah, he's up there too. Yeah. Oh, he's a little guy. You got him in the top of the head. That's why he was pulling so hard. Oh, oh, he came off. It Maybe wasn't. It, no, it wasn't. It, it wasn't us. Caleb, Caleb, she's got a good one. Here. Oh gosh, you may just have to try to flip him. Oh, Caleb's coming. Nice. Good job. Six or seven, I bet. I felt good on this rod. There are nice seats out there. There, it's dude, somehow. So what I'm doing here, you see, I'm just letting the line kind of slide through my fingers and then I'll stop it, hold, wait a few seconds, see if I get a bite. If I do, I'll close the bail, get ready to set the hook. If not, I'll let it go down a little further. With a jig, if you get the right weight, they'll actually bite it on the way down. You don't even have to be holding it still a lot of the time. They'll actually swim after and catch it as it's headed down, which doesn't really happen with a bottom rig most of the time. I haven't even like made it to the bottom to try. Maybe I'll go all the way. Have you fished on bottom, Caleb? No, he's not very big, I don't think. Let's 
that one go. Hit the uh, free spool for me. Nice. Man, we're catching I know, this is really good. This is all right. That's about like that one you just got. I didn't think he was that big. Turn around because the sun will be way better this way. Think about you, Caleb. Yeah. We were catching some nice ones. And unfortunately right here I get a bite that I think was probably the biggest one I hooked all day. And I was using that jig that I said I've had problems with them breaking. This was before I knew about it. I don't think I used any more after this, but this is what happened. Oh, God. Oh, I got a good one. Oh, he pulled off. Dang it. Oh, he broke my freaking hook. That ain't good. I don't like these ones anyway. Maggie, I'm gonna see what you got cooking down here. Wow. Yeah. I got it. <laughs> Caleb, you need to fish right there. <laughs> There's a lot right there. This is one of my better sheephead days. Here, let me uh. Oh, I need to open my bail. Yeah, come stand over here. Where's the sun at? This is like the good old days. Tell you what. That's a load. <laughs> That's a load. safely. It was at this point during the day that my buddy's wife, Maggie, started making us look pretty silly. She was getting way more bites than us. It was like she didn't even have to wait five seconds as soon as a crab went in the water. So she's got another one on right here. Crank, crank. That's a good one. That's a, that's a real good one, I think. Oh, he's not that good. He's just a strong... It's a good one. Yeah, a lot more. I mean, I'm just not even getting bites. 
I'm not quite sure what she's doing, but it's it's something, and it's not what I'm doing. She just had another one. I'm dropping right there. What like what the hell are you doing? Are you just like letting it go down, and they just? That's a nice one. Nice. Maggie only had to show me how. I was literally just like watching what her line was doing and I was like, alright, we're opening the bale now. Alright, we're letting it go slack. I got him on the pink jig. I stole one of your jigs, Maggie. Yeah, that's a pretty good one. So you can see now I'm using one of those bridge donkey jigs that I've got linked below. That's what Maggie was using. She was using a three quarter ounce brown one. And I don't know, it was something about that weight and that color. I tried a half ounce jig, which is what I just caught this one on. But there was something about that three quarter ounce size with that certain color that was really, really effective this day. Where'd I put my rod? I heard some drag slippage. Oh. Yeah. Oh, that looks nice. Oh, he's in it. He's in it. Oh, yeah, it's a big one. Got him. Hell yeah. He's yeah. pretty big. It'd be worth weighing. Hell yeah, he's dude. Yeah, might as well. Big. Yeah, he, he'll be close, I bet. Good going. Yeah, he was. I heard that drag slip and the real lockup when you said it. I was like, oh yeah. Real nice fish. That bite was fairly deep that I just got. Caleb, what I can't figure out is how we had a triple on sales that day with two of them coming on 80 wides with horse ballyhoo and then one of them being on a sea witch with like a nine aught hook on a 50 wide. Crank, crank, crank. Oh, Caleb's got a really big one. You crank too, though, Maggie. Lean your rod to the left so you can get him out. I think he's as big, but he's nice. Oh, he's nice. Oh, jeez. Nice. Oh, my gosh. I love it. <laughs> That was good. Good job. This is a above average sheep head bite currently. Yeah. Uh, I got him, I think. Yep. <laughs> Doc pick is happening. Just a few. Just a few. What are you saying, I skin you collect? Yeah, we can try it that way anyway. Up 
that's all I got for this one. Hope you enjoyed it. Like I said, I got links down in the description for some of the equipment we were using. If you like this one, stay tuned for the next one. I don't know what I got coming up next, but I do know that some of my next few uploads are going to be sheephead fishing.